Testing, testing, one, two, three, four, attention! You filthy earth stink beasts! Prepare to meet your moosey fate as you embark on the Tokyo Black Hour Death Podcast! Ha! <laughs> I am Zim, ready to rain down doom. Welcome back, welcome back to the Tokyo Black News and Review. This will be our end of the world, a.k.a. end of the year podcast, episode number 269. Did I get that right, Brandon? I believe so, yes. 269. All of these great stories are going to be from December the 18th all the way to December the 31st, 2023. New Year's Eve. I'm chilling at the house with some cognac while white folks out there shooting at the moon. <laughs> God damn, it's that, it's that full moon. Pow! <laughs> we do like oh, to get our Yosemite Sam on. on. Uh, they say if you shoot at the moon, the werewolf will come. <laughs> it's the government satellite. I don't know who got an Uzi over here, but I like that shit should be illegal to shoot up in the air. <laughs> man, I'll be wanting to go out. I'll be, I'll be wanting to go shoot so bad, man. I'll be like this, man. I don't want to scare so many people over here. But then again, be like over the neighbor over there, like that. Oh, some big ass guns, my nigga. <laughs> you know, you know how you see on the Terminator how they had that um that grenade launcher and they shoot, bloop, make that little noise and that shit sound <laughs> big as hell and hit the ground. Yeah. No, I'm like, shit, damn, nigga, shaking the earth. <laughs> I ain't lying. Uh. <laughs> and as we get on down to the New Year's Eve show, we're going to have me, Jermaine, Brandon, and Dusty. Sorry. Our new guest host, Christian. It's going to be goddamn J.R. <laughs> all the most unarticulate man in the world. My boy, Eggnog's child, he's going he gonna, he gonna to lead in 2023 the best way he know how, with a cup in his hand. And we're going to have Brandon, the white liaison. If he can't explain it, it cannot be explained. <laughs> Y'all ready for this? I think so. Let's do it. I ain't really got much. Look it on now to the drum beats of war. My drum beats of war. Before we get to the new year, how do you feel about the continental breakfast? <laughs> I mean, <laughs> yeah, hey, look. You don't think the hotel like this? Oh, you little rats down there getting out your free waffle and high sodium sauce. <laughs> <laughs> Two of those a day explode your head. You and we already put it into, your, into your package that you pay for. I mean, I'm grateful that they offered you. Know, I'm, dude, I can probably count on one hand the amount of times I've made it down for a fucking continental breakfast. I'm always like <laughs> mad, hungover. You know, you want to go down for breakfast? Fuck no, get out of my face. Yeah. I'm always up there early for the mother of the savages come. They want to make six pancakes. Goddamn, bitch. How many waffles do you think it takes for you to eat? I make one for everybody in my family. Can you wait till they get down here? <laughs> Bubba hey, Black bro. Boat eating 12 bags of cereal. Oh, God damn. Oh, yeah, you know what I start making the box cereal? The people were taking it out of there. Hey, look, man. Hey, hey man. <laughs> I am a fan of a continental breakfast. When I'm hungover, I know I had about 10.30 before they wrapped that shit up, so I always made it. I always tried to make it. I made an important fact. No matter how hungover I was, I better go down there and get that continental, nigga. I don't care if it ain't numbers. Cereal bowls down there. I want five of them. Go get that milk. (laughs) And get a couple of them muffins. Well, they got bananas and fruit. Pack that shit on that plate. We're going to eat this shit all day. We're going to eat dinner. Oh, I was just thinking about the cunning in the breakfast. I been to the hotel, but like, we losing all type of money. Look at that nigga down there. He got 14 waffles. He got only eat two of them. <laughs> you go to the rich hotel. Y'all ain't got no cunning in the breakfast. What? No, 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 not here. You pay for your breakfast. Hey, bro, you want to know what I know fucked up the cotton in the breakfast? <laughs> What's that? Niggas into go trays. God damn, <laughs> boy. <laughs> ain't lying. I seen a nigga, my bad, niggas at Tupperware. The, the Tupperware easy to put in your pocketbook. I said, what y'all niggas, this, you eat this shit all day. <laughs> you stealing it. Niggas didn't come back down. I 
lie to a nigga five times. They want to say nothing to you. You ain't got to pack it up with no goddamn Tupperware. I'm like, Jamal, I got to wait to make waffles, nigga. I done came downstairs three times, bitch. You still hovering over the machine. <laughs> I'm just saying, I have been out. Me and Jamal been like, ah, <laughs> damn, man, what this bitch doing? I want I one want waffle. One waffle. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, y'all got tightened up. Let's get on down to the end of the world, boy. In the AKA New Year's Eve extravaganza. Hey, Brandon. Yeah. It's it's been a long list, so we just gonna put some respect on every one of these people's name, boy. We just gonna go through the goddamn motion. All them people who didn't make it a new year. <laughs> what? <laughs> and it's quite a list. Oh, it's wild. That yeah. motherfucker. We might, Santa break, list. we might have to break this motherfucker up into three parts. <laughs> have an hour just for <laughs> everybody who died. Damn. Oh, man. Uh-huh. Everybody will miss that continental breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> R.I.P. to that waffle. R.P. <laughs> all that grease ass bacon <laughs> <laughs> that they throw in the oven at the same time for me and Jamal were in the hotel. I said, how y'all cook this shit? Oh, hell yeah, bro. And pick it up and pour it in there. I said, that grease is still on it. <laughs> 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 Gotta get it out there fast, boy. <laughs> oh, man. Let's get on down to the upper room of all the celebrities who have mourned in the current week. And that week again is from the 18th of December. December 31st, 2023. And as I drink my fine cone yet, let's get on down to Lee Redmond. The lo- Lee Redmond. Lee Redmond. <laughs> a lady who had the longest fingernail ever died just before Christmas. She was 82 years old. Dude, do you know how long the motherfuckers work? I don't even care. I just know that's disgusting. I want to live with you, baby. Man, I want to know how that goddamn <laughs> soot in her fingernail. Dude, they were. I hate to say it. I hope I don't sound ridiculous. I don't know who this man is. Long, you know. Hey, let me go oh, make you man. a continental breakfast, baby. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, she comes back. She's got those fucking waffles on her fingernails, like a goddamn giant shish kebab. You know. Five fingers right, deep. Um, <laughs> She's dragging I'm, like I'm, 20 I'm, of them. I got one word. All I can think of bacteria. You can't do nothing for me. <laughs> That's all I see. Uh, get out of here, man. You gross. Do you know your nails done balled up? <laughs> well, the motherfucker won't come back straight. <laughs> <laughs> They're monkey pawed. God damn. <laughs> <laughs> all your wishes have been... <laughs> Uh, Moving out of soap opera legend Stephen Holloway, dead at 77. Beloved Fallout, edited with an Elder Scroll YouTuber, what is this, Mitten Squad, has died? Uh, 27. Uh, I don't know who that is. Moving on to Casey Kramer, the daughter of Stanley Kramer, dead at 67. Brandon said he remember who she was. I'm like, really? Wait, did I? Because I damn sure can't remember nah, who really. she is now. Who is it? <laughs> I, I, guess I, I don't know. She's somebody's daughter. Moving on to um, <laughs> Kmart de Los Reyes. Died at 56 in cancer. The one life to live actor. Leaves behind family. Wife and a son. And I guess he was the, the enemy on one of the um, Call of Duty games. Moving on, and Richard Franklin died at 87. He was a Doctor Who actor. Anybody who was on Doctor Who deserved kudos. All right, fair you, enough. You shooting with you shooting with those, those crazy ass props trying to make it look good until we get the post. We appreciate you. <laughs> <laughs> uh moving on to Richard Franklin. No, that's what I just said. LA comedian Neil. Andy died at 32 on his birthday. R.I.P. to that man. Moving on to Men in, men in Black and Field of Dreams actor Mike Nasselbaum, dead at 99. I don't know which. I think, I think was he like the chief or one of the other chiefs in Men in Black? Oh, oh, fuck yeah. He played that one guy. I hate to say it. I hope I don't sound ridiculous. I don't know who this man is. 
Yeah, because if, if, if you see his the, face, you know what it is. If he ain't the other dude that died, what his name? Rip. Rip Torn. Yeah, if you ain't him, my nigga, you can step aside. I'm, just, I'm sorry, I seen his face. And I never, <laughs> I'm like, nigga, I was a kid when Field of Dreams came by, and I own a VHS, and I like that movie. But I couldn't tell you one nigga in that movie beside KC, Kevin Costner. <laughs> I can just tell you straight up. Anybody who went in that cornfield and come back. Moving on to Gail G. Ferreira, <laughs> Indianapolis 500 winner and Brazilian icon, dead at 56. Moving on to Matt Kurt Curtis. Chapman passed away at 26. I don't know who this man is. Moving on down to Tom Smothers. Star of the Smothered Brothers, Comedy Hour, dead at 86. Brandon know who this man was. I do. I had I, I did not recognize him. I apologize. I I like I didn't. I don't think I watched any other shit. But I know my my grandfather did. You know, I've heard I've heard. Oh, well, Dan, you know we don't know who they were. <laughs> yeah, I've definitely heard of them, but I've not. They probably was in a clan who was on TV back then. <laughs> Moving well, yeah. on down to Lee Sung Kim, a uh, coon, a uh, kain. He is dead at forty eight. He was one of the Oscar. Winning, he was in the Oscar winning film Parasite. No, which is a great movie. If you ain't never seen Parasite, it's one of the movies you need to see. But he was the um, the husband that hired the girl as the maid or the teacher assistant or whatever. He was they found him slumped over in his car. Damn, are we mad? Yeah, hey, tell him they what said, they said he was on suspicious of using drugs. I said, Boy, in Korea, it's tough. You, you be using drugs, we got to rest you up. Come to America. They don't care. We got a picture of Johnny Depp butt naked sitting on the underneath the bed with his shoes off. <laughs> you got Elmer Hurry taking large poops in the bed like an animal <laughs> and then falling back to sleep. That ain't mine. <laughs> you sure? <laughs> I didn't have steak tartar last night. <laughs> you had the uh, corn, correct? Yeah. Who had the <laughs> uh, who <laughs> Jamal right. I don't understand. I read the article. I'm like this. Nigga, what? That why you died? Because they said you they were said, using it. You were buying prostitutes, wasn't it? I hear a whole bunch of shit, man. Like got hard. You know what, man? Whatever. He made the big people made a lot of money. Moving on to Ezra Mohawk, singer, songwriter who performed with Frank Zappa, Jerry Garcia, but Miss Woodstock in 75. I, I don't know why they put that right there. Yet again, I was not born. <laughs> Only thing I knew about Woodstock is what I seen on the television. And knew when hell I sent my child there because a lot of people came up missing. Did they? All my fucking go to Woodstock, man. You get raped. Probably murdered, thrown throw in the bushes. That first Woodstock, them niggas were peaceful as hell. That shit just turned into a ravager. Yeah, they start letting all them folk come there with that bad, that bad dope. Uh, that juju. <laughs> uh, you want some huff and puff? What's that? Wait until you try this, my nigga. <laughs> <laughs> You'll be chasing that dragon for the rest of your life. What dragon? Don't worry. <laughs> Moving on to Bobby Jean Carter. Died at 41. She was the oldest sister to um, Aaron Carter and the other Carter. Man, they having a bad year, man. Yeah. Your older sister died. Your brother died. Another sister died a while ago. God damn, man. Moving on to Die Hard and Scrooge actor, dead at 98, Selma Archard. Uh, Archred. Archred. I don't know who I, I don't know who this woman is, but if you was in Die Hard and Scrooge, All I right. tip my hat to you. Respect. Those are moving, iconic movies. They'll never go anywhere. Moving on to somebody who are iconic in the streets by all black people. This man has to have 10 billion deaths underneath his belt. <laughs> Gaston Glock, creator handgun. Hand <laughs> dead in 94. This dude created the Glock handgun back in 1980. And the Glock has always been moving. Police got it. Game bankers got it. Moms got it. Sons got it. Daughters got it. Illegals got it. Criminals got it. <laughs> it you, it's 50. 
Oh, sorry about that. It is 45 people on your block that got a Glock somewhere in their house. <laughs> he lying. Bro, Glock is a household name. Like, it's a good brain gun. Man, that's you true. Get you, you know, if you pull out, and now, hey, look, what you got? I got a Glock. All right, well, nigga, I'm gone. So you pull out, you <laughs> I, see, got a, I got this Beretta. <laughs> yeah, that shit be jamming. I know who going to win. <laughs> I, I, I see you go, I'll take my chance. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> I don't know, oh, you keep, yeah. long you keep that goddamn Glock clean, you good. But Gus, Gaston Glock, can you imagine being like, what are we going to name this gun? It got to be something spiritual. It got to be something hard. It got to be something to put the fear <laughs> in you when you hear it. Let's call it Glock. Your last name? Nigga, Glock. <laughs> <laughs> do, you know how, do you know how strong of a name that is, bro? If you whisper that nigga head, hey, look, if I come to you and be like, hey, Hey my nigga, I'm gonna put this Glock to your head. It ain't gonna, it ain't gonna be easy. See how, see how dangerous that sound? If I put this Glock, what that nigga name with Jerry? What if I put this Jerry to your head, nigga? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm calling nine one one. Yeah. Uh, moving on, the former Dixie Chick member Laura Lynch killed in a car accident before Christmas. Dead at 74. Apparently she, up, man. Apparently yeah, she wasn't up. part of the big three. I think she like quit the band right before they got big. They picked up that other chick and then they blew up. Is what from my is what I understand. Uh, oh, that's why I didn't know like what Dick Dick Dix, Dixie chick this was. But ain't Laura Lynch like a uh Ingles brand? Yeah. Yeah, it does. I think they had like familiar. Lauren Lynch sugar, sugar and all that. So she made money somewhere. Yeah, Moving on know? down to farmer. Godzilla minus one producer. Sunji A passed away at 74. You left the world with a treasure that they can that America could never make. I haven't seen I forgot them ten million dollars yet. I haven't seen minus one yet, but I've heard it's dope. Yeah, I went I went to go see it uh last weekend. It was it's if you watch Oppenheimer before it, it's like a good uh Oh, like I didn't a, think about that. Yeah, it's like it's pretty good. It yeah, it takes place around the same time. So Right. I, I would I would encourage you guys to watch both. Huh. I've seen Oppenheimer, so I'll I'll see. Thank you. All right, <laughs> yeah, you give me a lot to think about. Hey, I'm gonna tell you niggas now, don't go to Oppenheim and they even see uh shadows in the streets, my nigga. <laughs> yeah. Just let you know. You will be disappointed in on that front. <laughs> but if you if you want if you want to see true and disrespect the nigga, I wait I waited three I waited two and a half hours before that move over to three hours and minutes to see true and disrespect the nigga and I loved every minute of it because that nigga was raw. Yeah, yeah, he was. He was. Was it Gary Oldman? Was that Gary Oldman playing him? Yeah, I think so. Okay, okay. Old America, but moving on to the disrespect. Shecky Green died in '97. I mean, not done. Um, Brandon knows who Shecky Green is, don't you? Shecky Green. <laughs> no, I've never heard of Shecky Green. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry to this man, but I, if Shecky Green had hit me in his car, I would not have been able to pick him out of a lineup. I'm Shecky Green, baby. <laughs> you go to jail, Jack. My neck, my back. You want to know what, though? I think I've actually heard this nigga name on um, Married with Children. I, he had a Las Vegas residency, too, I did, think. I'm telling you, bro. Didn't did, did, did I want to see Shecky, Fed. Uh, maybe. Probably. What's his name now? Shecky Green, right? I'm gonna look this shit up. Yeah. I know I ain't tripping because <laughs> I know I ain't heard this white man name nowhere else but married with children. Cause... Ooh, I'm so tired of putting these people in the upper room. Let's put one more person in the almost <laughs> the pre upper room. Brandon sent us a TikTok video of a white girl just walking in the sun. I have no idea why that bird thought her eyeball was the end of the year. <laughs> he was going, she went straight for it. Yeah, that and she shit. pushed it away before it punctured that eye and made it into um marshmallows on an open fire. Dude, I would have freaked the fuck out, man. Like for real. If I could have got my hands in that bird, I would have choked him to he scream for him, mama. <laughs> Dude, oh, I... you, so you can talk. Oh, I was thinking the same thing. Boston <laughs> crab. Yeah, fucking <laughs> sharpshooter. Put it in the sharpshooter. <laughs> I think about oh, man. <laughs> yeah. oh. Tombstone. Send all those people to heaven, Brandon. 
I drank to that. <laughs> Bad. <laughs> Oh boy, we going back to the old four, man. So if you listen to last week's show, everybody said that was the fun in a long time. I said, wow, I was so hurt by that. But I'm glad <laughs> we're moving forward in life. <laughs> Maybe that's why you niggas stop listening, huh? Let's get on down to Kevin Spacey ruined Christmas with Tucker Carson. We got a small <laughs> clip of what he said. Dude, uh spoiler warning, sorry, I couldn't find the clip. R.P. to this man moving on down to Charlie <laughs> Shane. Right. You want to ruin your Christmas? The week before Christmas? <laughs> yeah, he Boy, Shout out to Charlie Sheen. I don't know what he got going to his house, but when your neighbor come next door, Charlie Sheen opened up the door and his neighbor just started choking him. <laughs> <laughs> That's bold she move. She forced herself into his home and started choking him. He had to get he had to get checked by the uh, by the paramedics about his neck. I thought you had that tiger blood. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> he still got it. God, I guess I can edit this out later. He's got that magic blood. Ooh, yeah, yeah, sure. It, 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 it bubbly. <laughs> you know what's insane though? Dude, now for you us, we... him in return back home. Go ahead, Jermaine. It, it, for us, we'd be like that. What's the matter with her choking this nigga? But that wind, this nigga neighbor, because you know Matthew McConaughey used to play the bongos naked at two o'clock a.m. So we don't know what this crazy ass nigga doing. He probably been yelling tiger blood from the roof for <laughs> six hours. Here's a tornado coming. Shoot it. He out there <laughs> shooting shotguns and bazooka. Yeah, this nigga got. He blew up my backyard. Two and a half man was the best show ever. You probably playing that shit on record real loud. Like, my nigga. 6 a.m., nigga. Calm down. Someone's got to go to work, nigga. <laughs> Would you like an autograph? No, no. Y'all gonna be good. Yeah, nigga. We went. Oh, never mind. Well, hey, look. I got to look. Just checking in real quick. Y'all need what those are respect go check it, man. That nigga net worth of 60 million. Yeah, I think we throw some speck on that nigga name. <laughs> Shit, well, I apologize, Mr. Shecky. Uh, <laughs> you, you were... I'm sorry, I'm a simple-minded goddamn goon. Yeah. I'll put some respect on your name. 98 with 60 million. God bless your beautiful yeah. soul. Do not forget to leave us in the wheel, even though you have, even though you have already passed on. God damn, nigga. Tom Sizemore did some wonderful movies, nigga. Them made 60 million. I guess a bunch of niggas out there have been comedians forever and they held on to 60 million. You've been rich for a long time. Do your thing, Shecky. Yeah. Shake the dice, Shecky. No, no you shake it all the way to the end. Oh, man. Moving on down. We got to talk about Amanda Bynes. This is from Everywhere News. <laughs> we... Have y'all seen her buzz cut? No. I, I have oh, a yeah, picture I I inside the messenger. Oh, fuck out here looking like Dog the Bounty Hunter while smoking a cigarette. <laughs> <laughs> Look at the message right now from the uh, from this. And you, you'll see it. <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah, that is unfortunate. <laughs> <laughs> Real well, talk. She can come up to me. I want to make sweet love. No, I ain't in the I ain't in the dudes. <laughs> oh. Wow. Dude, that I is thought a... you were dog the bounty hunter, my bad. <laughs> Dude, she does look like dog the bounty hunter to a creepy degree. <laughs> I ain't even gonna lie. Is it oh, me? She looking like man. she looking like Charlie Sterron from Monster. She got get her <laughs> shit together. I hey, look at you, man. She like one, look at look at her eyebrow, man. I'm, she's sick of me. Look at you. Used to be hot, man. They done fucked you up. Look at Hollywood and got you. They done turned you into a dog to bounty hunter. Doppelganger. <laughs> Do more right. I, I don't know now. Who that lady is next to her? I hit that, but that other one, yeah. I'm just going to oh, You want to know man. that lady? That's the next story, boy. Get on down. Get on down. Get on up. Shout out to Martha Stewart, man. At seventy eight years old, seventy eight years old, showing the people that she still got it. I laughed until I cried, man. <laughs> Matt, Martha Stewart, eighty two years old, shared a nice thirst trap. Don't I looks don't look so bad when I get up. 
you 82 years old. You, if you look in on that picture and see them liver spots <laughs> and all that smudge cream she been using. <laughs> She, she got perfect light, and I tell you that. Yeah, she should put a little makeup on them boobs. I mean, I still hit that, but yeah. I can tell. <laughs> m- I mean, Martha didn't wake old, up like that. Man. Look at her face. She had to put some of that cream <laughs> on, had to smooth that shit out. She was like Michael Jackson. Let's take that back. You get the bill, huh? Who told you to bring that beef jerky in here? There's no beef jerky in here. <laughs> I, mean, I don't know now. I, don't I get mocked. Yeah, yeah. I, I mean, I ain't mad at it, especially for it to be eighty-two. I mean, fuck, yeah, I, go girl. I, I, I cut that necklace day in half. <laughs> <laughs> I do her before I do doll the bounty hunter over here. <laughs> <fucking that one. laughs> uh, Amanda Bynes. Her, her name Mandy Bynes. Huh? You got to give her a manly name. Brandon. Yeah, oh man. Well, shout out to Martha Stewart. Still got them boys in there. They owe everybody that praying to get some of that 82 year old. Let me tell you something, Jack. You ever slept with 82 year old? <laughs> no. Do you think it's going to be as amazing as sleeping with a 20 year old? Nigga, I'm checking bank accounts when I wake up there. You can go have that <laughs> clout. Yeah, you ain't going to be chilling with Fuzzy or whatever his name was. Yeah. Check yeah, right. it, Green. That's it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Shecky. Yeah. Uh, apologies. Hey, you realize Martha Stewart do Shecky Green? <laughs> uh, probably. I got to tell you, though, I, I ain't mad at Martha Stewart, man, but y'all got people who 82 year old, who 82 years old tell me they want some 20 year old dick, and you wonder why she in the hospital for six weeks. It's okay, baby. I'll be out in no time. Leave that. I leave a debit card in the house for me, mama. <laughs> Be like that meme with that cat in the diaper that's back legs ain't working. Yeah, <laughs> I had that blowout. Hey, 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 I don't kill nobody. To say, hey, Martha, come holler at me. Yeah, hey, I'm it's ha- Martha Stewart. When you 82 yo, when you 82 years old, your breath starts smelling like the end. You like you like <laughs> getting closer and closer to death. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, hey man, I'm shacking up with fucking Martha before I am like say share. I mean, yeah, hell no, nah, I share money long and she don't got all that shit what? pulled back. Oh, Tight. Man, no, Martha got more crazy. bread. This year. I was about to say Martha Stewart's got to have more bread. I don't know. I mean, she may have lost all her shit when she went to prison, but nigga, she went to a place called Camp Cupcake. Ain't no nigga lost nothing in there. <laughs> no, <laughs> no innocence. <laughs> no livelihood, nigga. They learning in there, capitalizing out their time. She ain't lost no goddamn money. <laughs> well, Martha Fair Stewart enough. net worth is actually four hundred million dollars. Okay, yeah, that's. She and share did. is three hundred and sixty million dollars. Hey man, both on Wallace Long. As long as you put me in the wheel, I'll be in that photo with you on TikTok. Talking about looking my girl, ain't she pretty? Okay, looking like some um some some cow liver. Yeah. Hey, let me tell you like this: Martha Stewart ain't did one dance move and got four hundred million. That thing ain't probably still all right. Yeah, I'm just you saying. Hey, she been up there dancing and singing too long. Martha Stewart been drinking scotch, nigga, drinking coffee in the morning, and working <laughs> out. I've been doing my clinches in the morning. It's tight for you, nigga. Okay, I'm going with Martha. I'm like Brandon. I don't, I, I don't want Shell. Shell look like two ghouls. <laughs> she dub in the end of the world. Who you want, Martha Stewart or Shell? Well, Martha, she, Stewart. Martha Stewart can cook, right? And she can clean house. Yeah, she I'm knows how to my feet she, kicked up. She knows how to sew and shit. Like, yeah, crafty I, nigga. I don't need no bitch that can sing. <laughs> Word. I'm definitely <laughs> taking Martha at the end of the world. Yeah, unless I'm oh, running. Man. I'm not, unless I'm running a slum venue, then I need somebody to sing. Then it's share. But if I need somebody to help me build the, build some shit, hey, come on, Martha. You went to jail. Yeah. You went. You started <laughs> from nothing. Share around there doing roundhouse kicks. You really think Martha finna kick in and well? Martha taking time to get them feet out the ground. I love you, Snoop. <laughs> well, I Moving on down to somebody who was feet off the ground, R.I.P. to Matthew Perry. But some insane stories are coming out about him. He used to super glue his hands together to stop him from taking drugs. Bruh, once you get 10 monkeys on your back, <laughs> it's a wrap. 
<laughs> All I can say is How high do you want to get nigga? How high do you want to get people And it's not me bro. being this, Bro when you got a super glue in your hand Do me a favor Get you a big hard pipe hidden N word Every time you think about touching that dope He slap you in your jaw About trying to false cheek come off your mouth About three weeks of doing that You won't touch that dope no more <laughs> And no man like to get slapped more than twice. <laughs> oh no. Oh nigga be like, oh boy, nigga said them drugs how you doing anything. Until you be turning tricks out there slapping. That all you wanna do, nigga. I do more than slapping. <laughs> <laughs> glued his hands together, super glued, not take drugs. What kind of people you got around you? Man, time to that bed like a vampire, man. Let that sun hit him about three weeks. <laughs> and get them shakes off. <laughs> Ain't nobody helping you, man, if you got to super glue your goddamn hands together. Get it out the house. Lock him in his escape room. Let me tell you something, bro. You got to understand the fact that, nigga, you know how hard it is to unglue your hands? That's all I'm thinking about. It. Nigga, your mouth still work. You don't want to do drugs. Glue your lips. You won't, you can't do nothing. Can't swallow no pills. Tie up. That's what you want to do. Yeah. Put the mittens on. Can't shoot no can't shoot no duck with mitten on. <laughs> Just saying, nigga. Take well, the mittens to your hand. I mean, at the very least, tape some forties to your hands. Yeah. I mean, yeah, I mean, yeah. Yes, I'll keep you busy for a little bit. Trust me. Shit, just, I just can't imagine. <laughs> Won't drugs that bad. I gotta glue my own hands together, and then wake up in the morning, Martha. I'm bringing the I'm bringing the drip glue gone. Oh, and get that get off your hands, Matthew. It's insane. And then they say he was taking twelve Viking in a day, but dude, Brandon said it was more. That, that is, a, dude. That is an insane amount of Viking in a day. I don't even know what Viking well, do. It's you do half a bike to have me sleeping in the corner in two hours. Twelve just to function? She, you, you on you on planet Zion Dude, on no. twelve bike days a day. <laughs> I swear it was more than that though. I thought it was like twenty seven or something ridiculous. Like Where that nigga get a prescription for nigga and who who these niggas drug dealers, man? These niggas are wealthy. Cause I had to set up nigga twenty six Viking. I mean, you eat twenty six Viking in a day, nigga. You do that math, nigga. Time three sixty six, three sixty five for the door. Yeah, hold on. I mean, it was, yeah. it was damn. Oh, it was revealed in his book that he began abusing prescription medication. Yada yada yada. He eventually was taking up to fifty five pills per day. Wow. Fifty fucking five, like. I'm sure that's hyperbole, but let's say you even cut that down to half and he's doing like, you know, 25 a day. Dude, I I cannot even begin to fucking tell you how. I want you works. niggas to understand the mathematics behind that B-Rock Jamal Christian. That is 20,075, what, 0. 0.75, what? That's it, yeah. Yeah, 20,000 20, pills a year, nigga. <laughs> Twenty thousand and seventy five pills a year. That's a, I mean, I mean like, dude. If I timed that time five dollars, nigga, you know my money I made off this nigga. <laughs> I made a hundred k if I sold this nigga five dollars worth of pills. God damn, hey, who man. is this nigga's drug cart? Damn. Yeah. And, that, and, and you know his shit was good too. That friend money go a long way. I repeated this man. Moving on to Vin Diesel. Vin Diesel, Vin Diesel. <laughs> Allegedly, supposedly, this is his former assistant is, is suing him for um, sexual battery. I ain't going to say who said this, but somebody said, girl, you trying to get that red dick. <laughs> <laughs> somebody left a comment on it. That was very hilarious. Yeah, Man, Vin- uh, I see what you did there. <laughs> Fucking Vin Diesel, though, huh? Who? Oh, I mean, I hey, we had, who'd have thought? We I guess a, we got to end these Fast and Furious movies one way. You know, we got it. <laughs> that might be the conspiracy. Yeah, they're That's just like, I mean. dude, he ain't gonna stop, man. Yeah. <laughs> this we is gotta, all allegedly. But can you imagine Vin slow Diesel? Slow down a touch. <laughs> it's 20, all about family, tw- nigga. I ain't in the movie. Twenty-five <laughs> movies. Stop, please stop. Oh, <laughs> Vin Diesel. 
This shit you got to watch it. You, you, you got to catch up, man. You got to catch up. It's the wildest shit I've ever seen in my life. These motherfuckers are defying science <laughs> in cars. Jermaine? I can't. I'm going to do man run through one weekend. I'm going to have nothing. Well, I'm going to find me a good weekend. I had nothing to do. I'm going to watch the first one. All, I can ain't never watch nothing but the first one. And that Dude, Tokyo Drift shit threw me away. Adventures so far away from what the first one, like. I mean, how many heights can you have, nigga, before you had to get balling, nigga? I'm still like, in real they, shit. They start at low level fucking just street racing and go they were still all in the DVDs. way. <laughs> yeah. They go from stealing DVDs to going into space. Think about that. You know, like. They are they are the lowest level criminals. They're stealing fucking DVDs of fucking you know, The Lion King two Simba's pride. <laughs> Next thing you know, they're ripping a giant bank vault out of a fucking wall and rolling down Rio de Janeiro. Like how the just the leaps that they take are, to, and then they get to space, motherfucker. Like where do you how do you even top that? Fuck space. He learned a trajectory from his car across a whole mountain to throw him over there where he don't get killed. I was like, God damn, nigga, that's ingenuity. <laughs> he broke a bridge and was able to swing around it like a catapult. Yeah, he goes from just a regular dude to fucking James Bond all of a sudden. No special training, no nothing. Just what he learned working in his low-life garage, stealing DVDs of the son of the mask. You know what I'm saying? He goes from that they got all the way to, I mean, he's like... A Doctor Doom level genius. The motherfucker is impenetrable to any damage that, that other than surface. You know, these niggas he broke in the CIA. Up. They work for the FBI. They on the government oh. most wanted list. Dude, he's like looping the third. It? This motherfucker's everywhere. <laughs> he's got kind of Interpol chasing him and shit. He's bringing and people the, back. And the crazy the part is. And the crazy part about Fast and the Furious, how they just be jumping from state to state. What kind of nigga? What kind of passport y'all niggas got? I get I get phone checked every time I go somewhere, and you have calls waiting on you when you pull up in Aruba. Yeah, they just when you just sm- got out of Texas, <laughs> they just get smuggled in everywhere. Yeah, I, I don't know. Like I said, Moving. if you did for, just watch them all in a you know however long it takes you to get through fucking eighteen movies. But where where they start to where they finish is outrageous. You know, start for the fifth on uh, how many moves did Jamar? Ten or eleven? It's gonna be eleven, but it's ten now. Okay, if I if I could watch fucking all the saw moves in t- three days and took some time off, I think I can do that. Knock yourself out. Moving on, somebody who taking some more time off. Oh boy, Yahoo News. Juliana filed for bankruptcy after a $148 million defamation case against him when, bro, do you realize, I, I'm going to tell you something, man. Uh, I got some friends, they can't stand Trump. When I talk about Trump, he look at me like I'm goddamn smoking a, a whole dynamite piece in my mouth. <laughs> you know you're doing something wrong, right? I'm going to tell you, dude. It took me a long time to realize that, but even Brandon, like, you know, we, we, he insane. The man shouldn't be running a local bread stand. But he was out there spilling the truth about a lot of shit, wasn't he? <laughs> they come back. Look like he was telling the truth. Oh man, sometimes let me tell you something, man. Don't believe it. Don't don't believe what some one person telling you. Listen to the crazy man. He always gonna tell you the truth. But you don't wanna listen. Moving on to somebody who don't wanna listen. Woo wee. If you own a Tesla, boy, I'm going to pray for you. But Jermaine <laughs> sent this story. This is from 2020. And it looks like it happened again. A Tesla engineer was attacked by a robot doing a brutal and bloody manufacturing at a, at a, at a, at one of the manufacturing compounds. The, the, word, the word is well, a brutal manufacturing kumite accident, yeah. <laughs> Everybody talking about goddamn, boy. The computer saw blood sporting one ham on a nigga. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? What are you doing? Go by. I am just trying to rub your spleen from the outside. <laughs> <laughs> I just watched Lionheart. I want a mullet. Kaiba. 
Kalima. <laughs> what? And people say, "Yeah, I want to keep giving them. Yeah, I want to keep giving them AI, huh?" Goddamn robot sitting there giving you a back massage and rip all your skin off. This ain't more to come back. He do. He do you like a fucking tablecloth. See if he can jerk your skin off without fucking <laughs> without your cup falling over and shit. <laughs> You don't even know it for a few seconds. <laughs> Do you know? Until all your how nerves long? start screaming at the same time. Yeah. <laughs> what movie is that? that? That dude got his skin ripped off. That motherfucker tried to take a step. And every one of them, boy, they was hell. Uh, he ripped all his skin off. He was screaming every step. I got to <laughs> find that. that wolf. Oh, I forget shit. what movie. I seen it too, but I said... <laughs> It's about rip off my skin now. All I can tell you is kill me. Kill me. Kill me now. <laughs> that motherfucking robot's going to drape its skin over you. Ooh, look at me. I'm Brandon. Yeah. I got to go to work. <laughs> hey, Brandon, it's so cold. Meanwhile, I'm over here. <laughs> yeah. Man, we so stupid. Somebody let a robot come with your flesh with dripping blood. And well, you all right, Brandon? I'm doing fine. How did you like the game last night? That shit was crazy. You going back to your shift? Sure, buddy. I like they won't even know, goddamn, you did. Motherfucker running around looking like ghosts. Uh, man, you want somebody looking like ghosts? Shout out to Amazon, man. I fuck with Amazon. But when you buy pills and all kind of other stuff out there, look at the bad reviews over the good reviews. That what I, that's how I vary my buy on now. If it don't have that many bad reviews or they don't sound too outrageous, I go with it. But Amazon, so energy supplement for men that secretly contain erectile dysfunction treatment like Viagra worn by the FDA. So you had all the stamina below T. <laughs> hey, you good, though, I guess. <laughs> what you say, Jamal? <laughs> you had all you the had stamina below T. <laughs> oh, you shit. sitting there goddamn lifting all the weights and telling baby, you ready? What in the fuck? <laughs> Something ain't right. I got all the energy in the world. Goddamn. And where you going there down slapping down. that motherfucker? Hey, boy, ladies. <laughs> If, you know, if if you got a good male friend, ask that motherfucker when that thing didn't come up one time. You see what you be trying to do to it. <laughs> yeah. you, 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 be, you be praying to the gods. Please don't let me look like a fool. Yeah, you be running hot water on that motherfucker, thinking about everything, nigga. Doing push ups in the house. Oh man, I got some crazy story, man. God damn, boy. <laughs> you about to be like, I ain't, I ain't gonna do it. Now it's yeah. the end of the world, Jack. I ain't gonna do it. I'm taking a break. I'm off today. <laughs> <laughs> Nigga, you should have been taking them high energy pills. But you, my problem is just that what you want to say. Read the comments. But you motherfucker buy pills. I don't buy any pills off the internet, nigga. If that shit better come off the Amazon show, I can sue them. But you out here getting them goddamn concrete pills. And y'all out here calling them stamina boosters. Y'all boy better tighten up, man. Your nuts get real small. And you ain't got nobody to blame but the manufacturer of some shit that don't exist. <laughs> I'm just saying, he got oh, a pill for farm, nigga. Who you gonna sue? <laughs> <sighs> Let's move on down for the new year. How you feel about that Christmas turkey? Is, do you need the turkey? Or can you skip the turkey? I like the turkey. What, at Christmas? Yeah. I'm usually a handmade at Christmas. Yeah, me too. We, we do me too, but like you got to have a turkey. Even if you don't want it, you're going to have a turkey, right? So this is from leadbible.com. If I'm saying it wrong, still sorry. Woman is furious after a supermarket replaced her Christmas turkey <laughs> with a bag of frozen turkey dinosaur. Allegedly, supposedly, <laughs> it was in Europe. So a bunch of these turkeys went bad early, and I'm like, how? Unless they were old turkey, they didn't... They didn't mysteriously all go bad at the same time. And when people complained to the supermarket, they sent them all frozen turkey dinosaur. Nigga, that turkey cost me $97 a pound. <laughs> I don't want no goddamn. I don't want no puppy meat. I don't want no turkey dinosaur. I, I want to have a turkey that has been deboned and skinned and ready to get stuffed. <laughs> 
I mean, uh, what do you want? Like chicken nuggets? Yes. Chicken nuggets. Yeah. You tell me them niggas. In order for me not to get a turkey because y'all fucked up, they sent me some chicken nuggets in the mail. Oh, yeah. Whew. Right, I ain't got nothing to say. Go ahead. I can't make it look. Tear this motherfucker down. <laughs> Have y'all... <laughs> Come on, Turkey lives matters my ass. Be in there ripping that place apart. If you sold people riding turkeys, go out there and get them replacement turkeys. What do you get? Even that if man you t- gotta go out there and shoot them and skin them yourself. One thing, Jamal, Brandon, Chris, you want to know where in my natural life I have never seen a turkey designed chicken nugget in the States. I have never seen one. Yeah, I don't think I've ever seen that either. It's a fucking chicken nugget. Yeah, I just thought about it. You gave them chicken nuggets. No, nah, turkey nuggets. Niggas yeah. make turkey nuggets. Yeah. Out of dino- those dinosaur turkey nuggets. Dude, I wouldn't have told my family either. I'd have just served. I'd have kind of got the platter out the whole done, you know. <laughs> you, 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 no, you, you got to lawyer you up, man. boy. Start getting that frivolous lawsuit. $40 million for ruining your Christmas. <laughs> the most elaborate <laughs> sides you've ever seen. And then just bring out the fucking... Dinosaur, dinosaur nuggets. <laughs> and bring some uh what's that? That's some sweet and sour sauce. Oh the uh, <laughs> what's the what's the sauce? The uh the the I don't know. Polynesian. Uh, the not the Polynesian. It's another one. Uh that re- they were went crazy for over Rick and Morty. Remember that? Oh yeah. The oh, the, oh this this swash one. The Mulan, the Mulan. Yeah, they, they, that's it. Yeah, the Boy, Szechuan you know, sauce, that's it. So, yeah, yeah. Do you know you got a package of that shit, man? They sell that shit for like just one one little cup is sixty dollars. Mm. Hey, you ate a little Szechuan sauce, nigga. I, I need to go back in time with that nigga and collect all that, nigga. This shit fresh. <laughs> I'm saying, if I if so, if I'm sitting at somebody's Thanksgiving and they she bring out there with the meal, nah, I'm putting them back. Go bring that turkey. I, y'all ain't got no ham either. Go take that shit back. You know, back in the forties, you know. Never mind. Back in the forties, you could put them goddamn chicken nuggets on the table. <laughs> Dad get this slapping everybody. I work all day. <laughs> you bring these fucking chicken nuggets out here. We ain't having this shit. The kids love it. I'm a motherfucking man. I'm a man. We got man eat chicken nuggets and frozen fries for dinner. He ain't saying. He ain't lying, goddamn boy. He ain't coming in, baby. Cook dinner again. You got an hour. I don't know what to make an hour. I don't know about them fucking chicken nuggets. I know they better be off that table. The kids ain't eating either. <laughs> why ain't the them to they roll? Can they let you cook this shit? Yeah. They go to bed hungry on New Year's. <laughs> they gotta save him the biggest chicken nugget. <laughs> Oh, I ain't know that my friend told me his granddaddy. Granddaddy got to be like close to 90. He said back in the day, his mom was required to cook two meals just in case the dad didn't like the other one. I said, God damn. <laughs> if he was a provider, that what you did? I said, two? I'm fucking around his belly scratching the, scratching the day <laughs> for one. <laughs> <laughs> And God, no, yeah, it takes some balls. I might not like that one. Have another one ready just in case. Jesus. Yeah. Be stroking off again, Karen. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> Your I don't majesty. like this shit. <laughs> oh, man. Moving on, man. Unilad.com, please, people. Heal Billy, please, people. I don't care if you're a professional. You, clam- you, you can um, climb trees. Professional rock climber. Please, uh, when you want somebody, apartment, 40 stories, 240 feet up in the air, don't pretend to be Santa Claus. I like you. Unilad.com. Stunt goes, horribly, stunt goes horribly wrong as a father Christmas, as a, uh, as a, let's do this again. Stunt, I don't know who popping them goddamn firecrackers, <laughs> hillbillies up there. Stunt goes horribly wrong. As Father Christmas fall 240 feet to his <laughs> in front of his kids. Now, allegedly, I guess this was in Russia. So they don't call him Father Christmas. They call him something else. His name is Grandfather Frost. So this daddy, the apartment approved it. I guess he I guess he was a professional clamor or whatever. <laughs> I don't know. But they, he 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 was on the outside 
of the motherfucking patio, climbing. He was going up to the top, <laughs> climbing up to the top. And they said something happened with the rope. I guess they didn't get the good rope, bro. And he fell to his death. And people thought it was a part of the stunt. I said, y'all no, didn't realize when he no. pooped on himself, it was a route. They said he died before he fell and hit the ground. <laughs> 250 feet. You better hope you get sliced up because that concrete ain't your friend. Okay, <laughs> bro. Do you know? All I can think about this nigga being a professional climber. With them cheap ass and car boots. <laughs> I'm slip. And he had a pack of presents on his back. I can you you <sighs> just ruined Christmas for all those on looker. Who want finish. a bloody Christmas present? Nigga, <laughs> 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 your train, Jimmy. Santa Claus has got jelly on it. That ain't jelly. <laughs> hey, Brandy. Yeah. It's Santa Claus coming back. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Brandy, I don't think what so, it? Jimmy. Kimmy, he didn't make it. What happened to his reindeer? Oh, that motherfucker fell 240 feet. When they realized you were dead, people were screaming in horror. <laughs> he didn't have no rope. What you thought he was going to fly back up there? He thought he was earning say Christmas. <laughs> no, then he did. 240 feet. Can you imagine falling like that in front of your children? They'll never be able to see Santa Claus again or Father Frost. Oh, oh yeah, Christmas no. is forever in horror. Hey, they the only people where they daddy didn't come home that night. And yeah. they watched him. He took a one way trip to the Polar Express with that one, bro. <laughs> it's, oh, uh, it's he bad. took on St. Nicholas' job, y'all. He had to go out that way just to take Santa's job. Oh, this nigga, this nigga scared everybody in the apartment. <laughs> Every little kid that saw that thing. <laughs> Santa Claus, all right. He's taking a nap. <laughs> now with that bowel movement coming down this side. Up on the rooftop, Santa Falls. Oh my God, oh, bro! Man, I that man. Y'all gotta tighten up, man. I do some Stop amazing doing dangerous shit. stuff for Christmas. Some of that shit, bro. I'm just thinking about if I just fell out that motherfucking wall, they don't need presents. I hope all these niggas got magazines. <laughs> oh, shit. Hey, do you know how many people before the New Year, R.I.P., who, who tried to be Santa Claus? He is made up. He is not a real man of oh, science. You know how many people I looked up that has died trying to go down their chimney and get stuck in the family, turn the fire on and burn them alive? What smell like roasted duck in here? <laughs> Those are daddy's toenails. <laughs> but it's insane. Why would you want to try to come down your chimney to surprise your kids at Santa Claus? Now they're, they're left with nothing but pure horror <laughs> for the rest of their life. It ain't like daddy didn't go out and get a pack of cigarettes and come back. Daddy was still in the rooftop <laughs> looking like a popsicle with poop hanging down his leg. Because you got to de- They say when you defecate and pee all on yourself, it's a wrap. But it's insane. And I was like, wow. And it's a, it is a huge number of people who still be trying to go down the chimney to be Santa Claus. I love y'all niggas for trying, but y'all niggas ain't educated. Uh, y'all this niggas, ain't all of a twist. They don't yeah. make chimney the same, the same size so two niggas can get in and clean it. <laughs> two niggas think they Mary Poppins. <laughs> oh, nigga, make a wish. <sighs> oh, man, my bad. Man, you been man. screaming, but they out there Christmas shopping. No one can save you. <laughs> hey, yeah, eat that, drain the milk and cookies and throw them away and go lay back down to drink a beer, man. Please, stop trying to impress your children in Santa Claus. Who have been going to the irishstar.com? As much as we talk about Matt Donald at the end of the year, it is one of, like, I, I, I wouldn't mind McDonald's if it was a good place like it used to. It's just horrible service. But a McDonald's restaurant is closed down after a customer allegedly found a crack pipe in his drive through order. Who was smoking crack and forgot? And where my pipe at? Damn, I think I left it in the bag. <laughs> How hard is it to spot a man who's smoking crack at goddamn uh, <laughs> McDonald's? 
thing. You can smell crack burning, nigga. Like he, that shit had to be like a moly on that nigga. <laughs> it was at Columbus, Ohio, too. I'm just taking a little edge out before work, nigga. You smoking crack? <laughs> McDonald's have got so bad they can't hire anybody. You you don't do no drugs, dude. Just crack. Come on in, man. I need the help. First off, I just need my, kid, my kids can't work third shift anymore. I need. <laughs> you know what, man? Whatever, man. That's, that's, that's y'all niggas fucking up, man. That's why I don't go to y'all. But if I find crap pipe in mine, I'm telling you, bro, I'm putting on my greatest outfit ever, my lawsuit. <laughs> Trying to get that happy meal. <laughs> uh, yeah, nigga. Ooh, crap. Oh, my God, nigga. I'm going straight to my lawyer office. You see what's in here? You put this crap pipe here, nigga. I look like I do crap. You see how much weight on me? Come on, man. Hey, man. Go in there, put it to everybody lip who worked there. Oh, it's Kevin. <laughs> oh, you know somebody lips got the form straight to him. You put it in his mouth. Oh, uh, it's like heaven. Who like Jamal said? What y'all nigga doing crack at, man? You got to smell that shit. That shit like them French fries, man. That, you know how a nigga smell like a restaurant when he worked there. That's what that shit smell like. <laughs> If you do crack, bro, you smell like it, nigga. I'm just saying, nigga. I... It's an from DJ. It's crack. Everybody know you want it. Mm. I like a Big Mac with a large fry and a Coca-Cola. All right, guys. See you up there front. We're going to leave you a special toy. And, uh, nigga, crack, pal. I don't smoke crack. You do now, say. nigga. Moving on. <laughs> uh, moving on down to NewYorkPost.com. So, zombie deer disease concerning scientists at Yellowstone Park, and they saying it can spread to humans. I said, what do y'all come up with these names? The zombie deer disease. And it was, it, they found it in a deer carcass in Yellowstone, and y'all white folk geek going to go poke shit with sticks. <laughs> oh, yeah. They, they are notorious for it. Let me, let me put my hands on this shit and let it splash in my face. Yeah. I love it because they say it can it can create brain damage, neural system, neural system, you know, nervous system, leaving animals drooling, lethargic, oh, and that stumbling. Sound, that sounds like you see shit animals get. That sounds like human. He take it, he he must have took one of them Vicodin. <laughs> <laughs> Twenty eight of them to be exact. And it has no known vaccine. I see y'all motherfucker telling me. That deers have something to have you feeling like you drunk. Can, do y'all remember what movie that was where it was like uh, they killed had they said they had to kill out a deer on the island because they were sick. Mm-hmm. I just watched that too and then they didn't stop shit. Yeah, because the disease was already down. They didn't come, it came, it was the, yeah, the deer was where was that? A zombie move, right? No. Damn, boy, that sound like that's, those are big guns. Sound like over here. It ain't no yeah, Happy New though. Year, five hour early. Got that like moon though. getting closer. <laughs> 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 I'm moving on down the world star. Woman claimed her boyfriend of three years got married over the weekend. I don't even know where she came from. You weren't looking. You you have been with somebody who said they won't ever leave you no matter. I got a girlfriend, eh? We can share. Baby, I'm a, I'm a woman. It's fine. I don't mind about anything. Baby, I'm broken. I'm on heroin. I'll help you get off. Bitch, leave. Why you gotta be so rude? <laughs> and I'm just saying that to anybody, man or woman. It's. I, have you ever been in that relationship, bro, where they just don't want to leave? It ain't working out. I don't care for you. You make me ill to my stomach, and you still saying we can work it out. That ain't how it go. Right. Oh, 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 y'all nigga think that's an easy conversation to that nigga pull out that butcher knife. Now, you think we can work it out today, nigga? Oh, if I yes. come here with this. I, I'm getting better with myself. You know, I had a revelation last week while you got that shiny knife in your hand. And you make sure you hit him with them bag of potatoes while he's sleeping. <laughs> but I'm just saying, a woman claimed her boyfriend of three years got married over the weekend. How do you not realize your boyfriend over the past? I don't even know where he came from. 
You took him to man's warehouse to get fitted with his boy <laughs> on your credit card. <laughs> what you thought they were going? To a nice dinner? We're going to the prom. It's a gas in American thing. Uh, them niggas got on all blue tuxedos. They match you. He probably sleeping that baby. I got to go out tonight. I'm married. I can't be with you no more. Shout out to him for being a goddamn real soldier. I don't have a gusto for that one, boy. In the words of Jermaine, he got moxie. Can you imagine men dating a girl and on the third year you get married to the love of your life? Yeah, I can't be with you no more, baby. I'm married. <laughs> I mean, it's even more. You lying to me. When you got married, I got the photo right here. We're going on a cruise Monday. <laughs> I like it because, like, hey, look, extreme moxie. I don't even know how y'all, I don't even know how y'all nigga get up in the morning. Like, hey, bro, you set up a whole wedding, nigga. <laughs> Hey, baby, how's everything? It's all good. You still at work? Good, good. Stay there for two days, motherfucker. I'm setting up a whole wedding. <laughs> I invited your mama, too. Like, how can you hide that from a bunch of niggas? Why my credit card got a $5,000 catering bill on? It's for your birthday. <laughs> my birthday two months away. It's ahead of time. Yeah, you know I got this business, too. I got a book of two months in the van. Tighten up, he Moving on down to somebody with the true moxie. TheMessenger.com. Jermaine liked this story. Florida woman who sues Hershey for $5 billion over Reese's pumpkin not having a jack-o'-lantern face. Why have we not got into the frivolous lawsuit? I'm thinking but about it. Don't get me twisted. When I, you know, I have eaten several Hershey pumpkins. I said, man, these shit don't look nothing like pumpkin. It looked like a smushed up Hershey. Turned around to an oval. <laughs> I pr- I promise you, bro. I will promise you this exactly. I said this shit earlier this year. I was told, I said, these motherfuckers ain't even got no pumpkin face. I said, I wonder if I can sue these motherfuckers for that. And I missed out. I ain't lying. I promise you, bro. I was like, I wonder if I can sue these niggas for that. <laughs> I, 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 in my mind, I was like this. Damn, boy. I guess I ain't got the gusto, because this bitch made it happen. I won't pause the lawsuit yeah. too, cause I ain't, I bought like twenty sacks of the motherfucker, and I'm disappointed. My life hurts. Can't eat another Reese's in my life. <laughs> <laughs> and this shit cost more than a regular Reese's. Why did the same price as a King Reese's? And this was a baby Reese's. Five billion. Now you know she ain't gonna get there. but pray to God they give her like a million dollars just so she can go away. Thank you very much. Oh, you can't buy no more Reese's. No need. I'm fine. With Christian and Brandon, like, nigga, we don't eat no Reese's on Halloween. That's all you want. <laughs> nah, I ain't no Reese's person. <laughs> I never said that. I love Reese's. Oh, yeah, that does not matter. Happy movie. New Year. 45 minutes early. <laughs> what the hell? Them stars moving. They're lying and shoot the stars. Move on down to the um next door. NewYorkPost.com. Let me tell y'all here, Billy, something. This is white terror at its best. <laughs> Tourist 39 dies after plunging 70 feet off cliff at New York State Park while taking picture with her husband. Y'all might need to check it. If, understand this. If you and your wife taking a selfie and she fall down the mountaintop or the husband fall down, you possibly going to jail, Jack. <laughs> you a prime suspect. You got to be. Why the fuck? And it was in Singapore, too. Why are you that close to the fucking cliff, man? You ain't got to be that close. Right. That's what the zoom is for on the damn camera. So I I don't know, man. The whole thing about people sacrificing their life for the perfect picture. Man, I don't even give a fuck that shit blurry no more. Blurry. Just take the picture, man. Let's stand real close to the mountaintop. Not on your now, I won't be doing that. Y'all can do that. <laughs> Kid, I'm clumsy. I may trip over a pebble and goddamn regret it my whole life. <laughs> Ain't gonna do it. I mean, I'll stop you when you're wrong. Yeah. <laughs> like let's dang. take a picture in the middle of the street before the cars come. You seen that mean Brandon sent with the horses? That dude, that dude been there before the horses came. And he still went down there showing off, and the horses ran over his back. 
The Indian guy. Oh, yeah, that was cl- fucking classic. That shit will boss it first until the mother horses came. <laughs> you didn't time that shit right, did you? <laughs> no, no, he did not. <laughs> Man, you're going to be in crutches for 12 years. For 70 feet, bro, can you imagine how mortified you're going to be that you and your wife last memory was her saying, oh, shit. (laughs) Real talk. (laughs) Again, stop you when you're wrong. I'm just saying, man, stop taking pictures and, oh, we're the volcano. Let's take it with a heat burning my neck. <laughs> no. Let's take it way in front of the volcano, 100 miles down. Oh, we got the picture area right here. What is wrong with you, hillbillies? It's dangerous. If you have to sign a waiver to go on a particular trip or uh, whatever you want, like, um, Whatever site you're trying to go to, don't do it. Don't swim with the sharks and say it was fun until they bite your leg off. Why don't not? Play with your life, man. White folks love being adventurous. What do you mean? They are, hey, look, y'all are one toe to the reaper and one toe to heaven. Y'all are always back and forth. We, we really shouldn't be, though. <laughs> not, not this one, either. You know what's crazy? Black people take some some crazy ass chances, but we don't take the stupid. We take stupid chances. White people just take the most incredible, none, just the dumbest things they know they shouldn't do. Let's go swim with sharks, nigga. Yeah, for what? Those are creatures that like eat they blood. That's science. They do not swim at night. White folk run that shit over, blow up the weed, and let it hit it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> if y'all ain't never seen creep no legs left. Uh, yeah, tighten up, people. Yeah, I never seen Creep Show. Look at the first Creep Show. Look what the motherfucker did, and they jumped in that lagoon. That was Creep Show too. Got to tighten up, boy. Got to tighten up. Moving on to plane passenger. These motherfuckers in the uproar. I want y'all to understand this. Hit it, hit it with that white terror, Brandon. <laughs> white terror strikes again. Plane passengers are enraged. Enough is enough. After a lady is spotted with a horse in economy. What? That was her support animal. I can't wait to bring my support orangutan <laughs> on there. This my support monkey from Congo. As long as he got his gold, everything good. You keep him with them diamonds in his hand. You telling me them nigga boarded a horse? On a plane. The uh, patches is sh- it was a picture on Instagram, a miniature horse in the economy cabinet of a flight. It was a miniature horse like a pony. A fucking pony way more than me, nigga. A pony shouldn't be on the plane. A pony doesn't know where he is or what's going on. He could act up at any moment. <laughs> Probably don't even know what had a pony don't even know what had eyes and his ears are bleeding. What's that sound? It's okay, pony. That's what I'm thinking. Like, nigga, what if his ears popped up there? Uh, what if he didn't know he, why he was losing oxygen? He wanted to get off that plane. <laughs> I mean, a nigga, pony got hard feet for a reason. <laughs> Does she have to put her mask on before she puts it on for the pony? <laughs> you would assume the pony need to have that mask on before he come in here. <laughs> it's a pony. How many support animals can you bring on the plane? Uh, I didn't think a fucking pony would fly at all, but yeah, yeah. I didn't think so either. <laughs> well, she put it in like the uh, baggage. I guess she put in like the the baggage, the the cabin of the flight. What are you? Cabin on the flight is a uh, mini. It's in the cabin, right? Mini your horse. Like I said, if you'd have been, if we've been taking bets on what gets on the plane and what doesn't, miniature horse, I'd have been, I'd have lost money on miniature horse. Oh shit, me too, nigga. I was like, this. what, nigga? Ain't no way in hell nobody got the brass. But oops, I was wrong. Right. If I can let me get my werewolf. <laughs> there you go, nigga. I got a bison I've been carrying around with me. It's my good luck bison. 
He only attacked <laughs> white folks that didn't rage. <laughs> <laughs> and people with and people with um uh what the motherfucking sounds is is Birkenstock. Yeah. He don't fuck with them either. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, hey, man, fuck it. Hey, hey, matter of fact, Brandon got, I got a bison, Brandon got a werewolf. What do you niggas um, support animals that you would like to bring, bring on the plane? You know, we can leave it. It's almost, it's almost 12 o'clock. I like to bring my support coat python on there. <laughs> and he needs his own seat. He's a dangerous coat python. <laughs> I, huh? Hey. Does this Coach Python have some little babies inside it? No, sir. A good deal. What about you, Christian? Anything? Nothing? I, I bring my emotional support kangaroo. Like the grown ones. Yeah. The, 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 the swole ones that, you know, they just be looking at you with the, <laughs> with out, the big arms. Be out boxing, <laughs> motherfuckers. Yeah. The motherfucker with the nine packs. Yeah. Sitting in the economy like, nigga, don't say nothing to me. <laughs> <laughs> Better have my peanuts ready too. Yeah, man. <laughs> well, I'm the kangaroo from Tekken. <laughs> Roger. <Or> yeah. Shit. <laughs> 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 uh, <yeah. laughs> And I wasn't talking about I wasn't talking about no snake. I was talking about that cold python gun. And what I, I, I said. Food. I, I need. I'm gonna say it got some little babies in it. Yeah, them bullets. Yeah, it's a bad motherfucker. Put him in a cage. Can I bring this on with me? Well, them nigga let you bring a gun on in a cage. <laughs> <laughs> I cannot imagine that they would, but this my this my support animal. What do you support? You from <laughs> all you crazy ass niggas in here? <laughs> 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 <sighs> oh man, moving on down to support animal number two. New York Post dot com. Ain't it good? I want it will. Louisiana grandma goes to hospital with headache, wakes up with no memory of the past thirty years, and thinks she was a teen still in the eighties. Can you imagine waking up and like, who are all these unattractive bad kids here? <laughs> who these lumpy head bastards? Me, ma. <laughs> There's no way I had such an unattractive child. <laughs> she thought you she know, was in the eighty. What the hell is that? A DVD player? You play movies on that? Is that Betamax? Bro, do you understand how cold you can be if you were stuck at your like eighteen years old, nigga? Now I'm sixty. You know how cold All you'll be. Around. Like she you think 80, about it. Sixty something. She thought she was like a teenager in the eighty, probably. Why my hair all fucked up? It's all flat. You old, baby. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. Who put that money in my head? <laughs> Why is this tank top so... <laughs> <laughs> hey, bro. Was she, did she get amnesia? Or was it just some... Don't know? It, they don't know. It just says she developed an intense headache and blurred vision. And, and, and she and she was down since the eighties. No, she no no no. She wasn't down. She went to the hospital, and when she woke up the next morning, her last thirty years of her life was over, and she thought she was in the eighties. She forgot everything for the last thirty years, and she thought she was a teen in the eighties when she woke up. Boy, oh boy, the scary shit you'll be seeing now. Nigga, what a, what, a, what a telephone there. Ain't no more rotary dial. Bitch, you gonna get out of here with your crazy old ass. The world is not gonna be kind to you, man. God damn. You mind if I call my parents? They did. <laughs> when that happened? 30 years ago. That shit scared me. You, you think me. you still some young hipster? They still sell cocaine in the, and down in the uh, in the bluffs. That's still the same. <laughs> Is Rick Rollins still the hottest song in America? <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit, never gonna give you up. Uh... Who's never gonna give up? 
How high do you have to get, people? This is uh, from the... I don't know what the fuck this is. I normally can read it, but the 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 premier media dot com premier daily sorry premier daily dot com Brandon may know who this white man is. This is the hillbilly of the week. I drilled a hole in my head. I mm-hmm. drilled a hole in my skull to stay high forever. Joe Mullen, nineteen seventy book, bore hole. Is a memoir about how he came to drill a hole in his own skull so he can stay high. How how far do white people go to reach that drag? Uh, pretty, I mean, pretty far sometimes. If you can't catch him, I'm gonna drill a hole in my head and get him. You know how I would pass out the moment that drill hit <laughs> that that chunk of skull up there. I, just a skull, nigga. Just that little soft tissue where my hair grow out of. I'm gonna be screaming like two bitches. Do you know what a how fast a drill? It wouldn't take that long to peel that scalp, but when you got it, you know what, nigga? Who stopped that hemorrhage? Because if you got through your skull, nigga, I know that blood was skeeting everywhere. <laughs> Why'd you do it? Stick that cocaine in there, keep it moving. Don't be a groupie, cousin. Don't be a groupie. Keep it moving, cuz you, you don't know, know me. me. I got smoke from my head now. How high do you want to get? What is it? What is the t- when is the time you say you know what? I think I've had enough. I, How it, do you even get high like that? My bad, Brandon. Go ahead. No, I was about to say uh, it should be before you start drilling holes in your head. Like <laughs> first off, my and then write a book about it. Like I want to read about that stupid shit. <laughs> You got moxie, my man, because I don't know what how you picked up a drill and went to your head and just said you want to. That was your decision. God damn, boy, we're gonna break New Year, right? You know, motherfucker, like this, we gotta start popping them early. Get cold out there too, boy. If you downtown, it's a little, wee, it's a wee nippy, yeah. wee nippy. Even even the, even even the pocket thieves didn't come out. <laughs> no, they like it's too cold for this shit. Moving on to best mug shot, WSB TV. I'm pretty sure y'all can see this light skinned woman. <laughs> a Georgia bank teller is sentenced for skimming ninety thousand dollars in deposit by a convenience store in Statesboro, Georgia. A former bank teller is convicted of stealing that money. She when they arrested her, she was looking good. She had a white t shirt on, light skin, her hair was right. She didn't look like she was angry or nothing. She like, I know I fucked up. <laughs> she a bank teller. She a bank teller. Nine times out of ten, guess what you ain't gonna get back? That money. You ain't never getting that money back, bro. You think getting that money back? Uh, yeah, you shouldn't for sure. Because <laughs> yeah, some people fuck up their blessing, but some people don't. I send the I, I send an article here. If you click on you'll see. I like man, white t shirt. You look good. I told you, man. When black folks still got their wig on in the uh, <laughs> mugshot, in a mugshot, they were actually robbed and they actually did some shit. If they shit still on, but this woman it look cute though. I've tried to look up on Facebook, see can I get some of that ninety k, but uh, I guess she must have deleted it. <laughs> now all now all her family members like, damn girl, you ain't shit out of that money, did you? Black folk be like this. I can't believe that bitch ain't put no money on her books. $97,165. She, she must pay that back in restitution. How? She a bank teller. She made, what, $14, $15 an hour? She going to work in another bank, steal it from them, and pay you back? Let's file bank roughs and get up out of it. Uh, moving on to somebody got a five bank rusty. Boy, ski mask shouty. Florida woman is arrested for wearing ski masks in public, which is a crime in some states. And she was in this is a crime in Florida. And I was like, wow, why isn't it a crime to sell the ski mask? Fools got to go buy them. I see the young niggas with them on be walking around. I said, it's the sun now. And you got a ski mask so uh, and hey, y'all wonder why the police looking at you. Mm-hmm. Hey, you when you come my convenience store, you can't come here with that mask on, so it cold outside. I don't give a damn how cold it is. Put that gotta put that Glock on them, Gusto. 
<laughs> it's Augusta. insane. Like, what, I, bro? What we always say? You better know the fucking rules when you go different places. If you don't see nobody else with a ski mask where you went, nigga, don't put one on. That shit just <laughs> makes sense. Ski to me. mask. Welcome. I mean, it, they say they the niggas actually ski with ski masks on. And I was just do explain explain to me. I was just like, I told him. I, I said, look, man, if you wear a ski mask, all you doing is eating the groceries and robbing somebody. It's the only two things ski masks are good for. It ain't good for nothing else. Stop in wet weather. <laughs> you still gonna have chapped lips, nigga, and dry <laughs> eyes. I mean, am I right? <laughs> Yeah. Chap lips, dry wrong. eyes, nigga. Going down the <laughs> ski slope. That's what you think about that. But y'all right here looking like Roger in the ski mask. Go ahead, Ma. Every time I see white folks in the ski mask, I be thinking they finna pull a lot of ooze in Jerry. Can you imagine there was an assassin who can ski and also shoot at the same time? <laughs> James Bond, right? <laughs> that sounds like a James Bond movie. You skiing, if somebody come up behind you with a ski mask, start shooting you with a Uzi. Is that shit even possible? I mean, the, shit, the Uzi game legit. As long as you got a good hand. <laughs> <laughs> True that. But the last thing, move on down there. White terror. Unemployed dad with face tattoo rejected 45 job by 45 job offers after desperate work plea. Dude, this is fucking insane. That motherfucker was out there crying the blues about wouldn't nobody hire him. And then a bunch of people were like, all right, man, you know, we'll hire you. And he's like, no, nah, that doesn't seem like the right fit. Like, oh, you got options now, nigga. <laughs> right. You what? look like a character from Furiosa, from Mad Max. <laughs> Who gonna hire you with that big old great tattoo underneath your job? <laughs> It's a fair question. That is. <laughs> like, what are you doing, man? Take a job, any job, you know? That ain't the right fit. Oh, wow, I got the internet throwing shit at you now, nigga. Do you, you know what I don't like? You know, I don't give a fuck. I don't understand the girl with the tattoos are button their necks. I said, y'all just look weird to me. You know, I be coming up on their necks to their mouth. Oh. I don't I don't like it. You look like Quan Chi on crack, man. Who gonna hire you? <laughs> welcome to Welcome to Applebee. You the you the front house? What kind of place is this? Y'all ain't y'all ain't killing black folks in here. Nah, man, it's a good place. You these, can't trust no dude with no tattoos on his face, man. I'm just telling you. These chicken wontons will take your soul. <laughs> mm, mm. Man, I do love a good chicken one time, but my soul might be worth a little bit more. I'm gonna get up out of here though. Y'all hold it down. You need another Sam Adams uh, so you can finish it. <laughs> well, moving on to the next ultimate finish move. Finishing move: a woman get incurable can incurable condition. Cobalt long after vaping marijuana for just six months. And I'm like, they call that shit popcorn long. I'll, how much of that shit you was smoking? Man, I can't tell. Last time I put that slop in my mouth, ain't finna be half my throat all pumped all up. Pump, 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 pump it up. <laughs> well, don't, don't be buying bootleg fucking <laughs> cartridges <laughs> either. <laughs> yeah. Get them from an authorized dealer. Not your local neighborhood dealer. Hey man, oh, I'm all, I just say this. I hey look, if y'all niggas ain't heard from the podcast of all these are podcasts. Jermaine always warned you niggas it's about them popcorn lungs, niggas. <laughs> I don't know how many times I said how many times I said something about that shit, Brandon. <laughs> A few. Y'all niggas were I mean you you six months in. Fuck wrong with you. Got them more. Yeah, be Got them Orville Redenbachers. You got them. <laughs> got, them gummy, oh, cool. got that gummy Your bear look like a, look, like a, look like a honeycomb. <laughs> she needs surgery. Stat. Got that Mark Shepard lung. 100% blockage.
Oh, shit. Y'all, y'all got to tighten up, man. Uh, man, before we cash it out, boy, we're going to leave with the ultimate goddamn New Year V. New Year Eve story from Black Terror. <laughs> WSB Channel 2, Atlanta, Atlanta Live News. Woman still cash after working hours at Riverdale Waffle House. Police say she wasn't an employee. You are hurting so bad, you let a rando come in and take orders and pocket the money. <laughs> I'm leaving my shift, y'all. What was your name again? Becky Sue. All right, Becky Sue. Hey, man. This motherfucker had, she had like a scarf on her head. You know she don't work there. She ain't even following protocol. She ain't even putting no hat that on. She's there working the register, getting goddamn food called out, and walked out with the money. Bruh. Why she look like somebody grandma when she like 19? Every time I, I mean, she was like 17. Every time I look at this picture, I'm just like this. First off, these niggas, they let you in the restaurant and go to the carriage first. I ain't never seen no niggas start the carriage. You got to start cleaning up or something first. <laughs> That's how you get a motherfucker up out of there. Go in there and clean the bathroom. <laughs> Bitch, you want to work? Go clean yeah. The cooler need wiping down, too. You ain't getting no carriage. The <laughs> bitches be working here three weeks. <laughs> Bitch, you know you don't work here. Get your old ass out of here. Oh, look at young ass. Trying to get some free work. She probably could have got a job if she worked there for three weeks still trying to get them little fifteen dollars out the can register. Yeah. <laughs> oh boy, she cleaned them up, boy. She gotta leave by eighteen hundred. What's she gonna do with that nigga? She ran up with a meat coat on and a motherfucking scarf <laughs> like them folk don't recognize her. You know, <laughs> you know she hanging at somebody <laughs> corner store right now. Buy some cigarettes with that money. Goddamn dragon man. Shut I got one more story. I gotta bring this up. This for all the lumpy heads out there. A Florida woman said if her boyfriend and his new girlfriend don't do a threesome with her, she was going to kill them both. And she ain't even got no hairline, man. I said, man, y'all got to realize. You know, some people are crazy. Crazy town. Crazy town. Yeah, that's You going to kill your boyfriend and his new girlfriend and they don't want to have a threesome with you. Your head look like an uneven egg. Who's sleeping with you anyway? Uh, right now, lump of head ass children out here want the whole world. I don't get it. <laughs> yeah, you make a fair point. Yeah, it's tough I mean, but fair. Uneven egg, but goddamn, like first off, if you got a force of threesome, you done fucked up. I mean. I want one really bad, but that don't mean you finna force one on me like, nigga, we having it. Who? I'm an adult, and you don't want to fuck with me. I ain't, I ain't that I ain't that motherfucker. I make my own choices. I don't know where y'all been. What kind of credentials you got? What your numbers looking like? <laughs> <laughs> Low mileage or high mileage? Yeah. What's your knife? Girl, come on in. Why you playing? Girl, I've been waiting on this shit all day. Yeah, give me that knife. <laughs> You hit him in the head with that old hotel phone. <laughs> That'll gash you. That'll smooth that goddamn top of the head up. <laughs> well, I mean, like, did they lock her up for uh, giving these death threats to this man? Oh, she already got a wreck along at the goddamn sunny day. I mean, what's she gonna... I mean, hey, can I ask an un- un- Like, what's she gonna say in her life? This bitch better than me. I want to see. Like, this nigga ain't fucking with you, but you want a threesome with him? <laughs> I mean, what you go? What you finna find out? Yeah, I knew that big pussy was trash. <laughs> I mean, what what you gonna say? You've given me a lot to think about. It is just I'm tell you, man. It just comes sense, ahead, man. man. I, I just don't. Have, I'm my bad, mom. I just don't. I just don't have no inkling of what. Even if she wanted that, like, what would be the reason? Like, this she gonna be talking about her? Yeah, I slept with her. She bitch ain't worth nothing. And do what? He gonna let her be with him? Kill him she anyway. looked crazy. She looked like she had a tattoo or a knife or a gun on her neck. Just looked like it. No matter how good it is, if they crazy, they always crazy. Can't yeah. shake that crazy. And you know they crazy by what, day 25? If you take her to Applebee's, she stabbed <laughs> the waitress because she ain't like her because her, um, her long guy lost tea was weak. You need to leave her, huh? right? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Yeah, if she confront the waitress that asked her why she's checking out her man and y'all on y'all first date, 
need to leave her, cuz. I'm just saying. It ain't, yeah. If she show up and it's 40 degrees outside and the tank tops and basketball shorts and sandals and her toenails ain't dead, what do you tell them, Brandon? <laughs> Room service. Y'all need y'all niggas bring me some chicken wings, two hoes, a red bone and a white girl. <laughs> Can we finna throw this one out the window? Oh, man, let's go ahead and wrap up the greatest episode of the year, 269, I want to say, right? Yeah. Episode 269. Y'all got any New Year resolution? I don't even want to hear them. What do you want to change <laughs> for the New Year? That we going to do. What are, you, what are you looking forward to to change in the New Year or 2024 before we wrap it up? Oh, uh, they're try, trying to be less poor. Yeah. I'm trying to get. I'm trying. I'm. I'm basing mine on a little more discipline. Yeah, get my shit. Together. No, no. I'm talking about unrealistic shit, not your real shit. Oh, I want people shit. to mind. I, I want people to mind their business, and I want y'all to update the continental breakfast with real sausages, <laughs> not them pan <laughs> sausages. Some of them Italian, you know, them big ass sausages that taste good when you put them with your uh, powder eggs. The link sausages. Yeah, them, them good old link sausages, not them salt. So- not them sodium contained sausages. Good old link sausage. Yeah. And we have to the day y'all need to bring grits out for the continental. <laughs> Tighten up, people. Not the yeah. watery grits. Have a black <laughs> version back there making the grits. <laughs> Not the recipe grits. A black yeah. person back there making them grits. <laughs> All right, are we talking about unrealistic expectations? Man, if you're driving slow in the fast lane and I come up behind you and you just can just get over to the right, that'd be that'd be dope. Yeah. Unrealistic, man. Man, look, if I ever ride behind the money truck and y'all niggas just see me and I when I hunt the car, y'all ain't gotta get out of my way. Just throw one bag, man. I catch you like die hard, man. Just throw it in the car, y'all niggas go on about your business. I appreciate you. Like fast, I would like that to happen. It's like Fast and the Furious. And then bam, I caught one nigga. Thank y'all, y'all niggas legit. One love. Fucking. <laughs> Do a three six, do a one eighty. Fucking put the trunk out there and pop it so they can just throw bags into it. You'd be driving in reverse down two eighty five. I need to take all that shit out of my trunk. Then I might have to be opening up that door because that shit would be falling out the trunk. <laughs> They'd be throwing it and hit the trunk and bounce off all that shit. Be, you wasting the money. Be Stop, yelling. nigga. <laughs> be yelling, family. Uh, Christian. All right. Uh, for, for mine, I want like all these platforms like YouTube, Netflix. Well, not Netflix. Hell yeah, Netflix, YouTube, Instagram, Facebook. To stop selling me shit. Every every like scroll down, it's like you're selling me shit. Stop selling me shit. Yeah. Uh, Ten lives, seven lives on sale right now at uh on Amazon. Pedla. <laughs> <laughs> Pedal up. Uh, <laughs> so since you got them doing early shameless oh, no. plugs, go, go, go ahead and got them balance out while one by one. Christian, you go first. Okay, okay. All right. Well, we, we ushering in the new year, everybody. Um, thanks for joining us. Uh, I'm Christian Terry of uh, 10 Lives, 7 Lives on sale now, now on Amazon and wherever books are sold <laughs> online. Um Enlisting Publishing with Julian Fernandez. Uh, is they, their stuff is on sale too, so you can give them a check out. Check them out, and uh, I'm going to pass it to my man uh, Brandon. No soliciting. What's up, your boy B Rock, the White Liaison? Uh, yeah, Happy New Year, everybody. Uh, I'm gonna try to do better about uh, getting the Twitter back up and running, and maybe trying to do some stuff, at least promote the show at the very least. Um, check out the TKB Panda Shop. You know, start the new year right with some gear. Please so. give a shout out to Edwin at Fandom Storm Gwinnett. If you out there, no, I mean Gwinnett. It's in um, Gainesville, next to the Kroger, man. Oh yeah, got us up in some retail spots. So yeah, if you're in the Gainesville area, check out. What'd you say it was, Jermaine? Fandom. Fandom. And then, uh, let's see, Christian's already did his shit. Uh, Check out Dusty and Stephanie's uh, podcast, A Date with Dustiny, where they review uh, reality jail uh, TV shows. It's pretty funny. 
and uh, shit you can write in Tokyo Black Hour Gmail dot com. Uh, check us out on Twitter Tokyo Black Pod. Uh, we're on Facebook. We successfully posted nothing for twenty eight days, and Facebook told me to keep doing that, like posting <laughs> nothing. So I guess you know, I guess we'll see how long I'm, we can. I'm, I'm gonna collect my shit together yeah. in one bag and get it in one straight line. See how long we can not post something there, but go there and see. You know, it'll be funny. <laughs> Jermaine. All right. I want to tell everybody we appreciate y'all. Make sure y'all bring the new year in right. Do me a favor. Do Jamal a favor. Do Brandon a favor. Do Christian a favor. Buy a Christian book. Support Brandon to hit 3D printing and fucking buy some clothing from me and Jamal and the Tokyo brand and it hold. And I got a new toy. So hopefully I can get this thing working and ramped up and we can have some new stuff pressed out very soon. And don't forget. I'm going to leave this slogan out there for everybody. Happy New Year. Don't forget to learn something new, try something new, start something new. That's all I got. Pass it to Ma. I'm going to give a big shout out to Jordan, Paperhand White, Brittany yes. for showing up for two episodes in 2023, <laughs> Dusty for showing up for 15, Elisa is showing up, she showed up for one. And Christian has actually been on his 40th episode out of 269. We do appreciate y'all boys for showing up. I always know your residual checks are only going to get smaller from here on now. And we do appreciate everybody. And what's my boy, um, DJ, DJ Crip? Oh, yeah, DJ R. DJ R, man, got to give you a shout out. And my boy Sean said, hey, listen to the podcast. We appreciate that. I ain't going to say your whole government name. Somebody might be out there looking for you. <laughs> but we do appreciate it. Now, I always remember, people, don't believe nobody. Only believe crazy people. Because they ain't saying this shit for no reason. And before we leave, I want to leave you something special. I want to I wanna give, I wanna, I wanna give a shout out to um, Ashley. Always coming through and listen. She know it is. Chris. Thank you for always come listen. Uh, Kimmy Cam, um, Dusty Ezer, man, he always come through and send goddamn articles. Appreciate you all, boy. Paper hand white. Hey, man, without you coming through, bro, you bring a lot of joy. We appreciate you. I owe you something. And Jordan, once again, y'all motherfuckers make it work. Thank you, guys. We got to got Tokyo Black Affiliates. Oh, yeah. We gotta put some respect on Dusty Ezerman name. He is the last great he is the last great American. He got a mullet, a cigar in his hand, and he is talented. And as he can put on a suit. Huh. Oh man, but as we as we roll out twenty twenty three, people stop shooting at the skies. The werewolves are not coming. If a tur- <laughs> if a tornado comes in your neighborhood, that doesn't mean pull out the bazooka. Hey Brandon. Yeah. Happy New Year's to all you guys, and hopefully Dusty come back one day. What a, what will I be? What are we going to be doing at twelve oh one tonight? Yeah, Columbia. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> started hey, started off right with a good taste. <laughs> oh boy, I'll remember if it white is all right. We'll see you next year, people. Tokyo Black News and Review is out. Deuces. Appreciate it.